I've got a pallet today with five very large boxes on it. And this pallet has me a little bit intrigued about what actually might be in this thing. So the title of this, when I bought it from the liquidator, this was a pallet that was titled General Merchandise and Audio. So I was like, hmm, General Merchandise and Audio. So is there gonna be some electronics sprinkled into this then? What kind of audio? Audio is in like car radios, audio is in speakers, audio is in records, audio is in recording, like music recording equipment, maybe just something as cheap as microphones or something. Of course, some of those aren't cheap. So it intrigued me just because usually it's not so vague like that. Like, you know, like they might have something that's like electronics and audio or uh, general merchandise and bedding. You know, where like, it kind of, I guess it's, you know, anyway. So you usually don't see the, that, that kind of uh, terminologies put together. So the total MSRP, these were five boxes on this one pallet. Pretty good sized pallet. So this might take a little bit of time to go through. Total MSRP, $1,569. I only paid $110. That's all I paid. That is everything. That is the price, 10% buyer's premium, sales tax. I don't pay shipping costs because I buy locally and I pick up in person just right down the road. So avoid paying shipping costs at all possible because shipping pretty much eats up most of the profit half the time. So I don't really know what to expect from this just because I don't know. I'm I'm kind of guessing that this is probably going to be more of like a hodgepodge pallet because everybody knows like, you know, I'm kind of like the king of hodgepodge pallets. So that's kind of like really what I'm expecting of these five is just, it's just going to be a hodgepodge pallet. Everything with uh, some electronics, some pets, some clothes, some bedding, some home goods, some everything. So yeah, let's get into this. I'll quit rambling. Let's see what is in these five boxes. So everything in these boxes came from Amazon. And this is titled Customer Returns, but everybody knows just because it says Customer Returns doesn't mean everything has been returned. Some items will be just factory warehouse damage. Some will be brand new factory sealed still. And um, some will be salvage. Some will be trash, but usually not a whole lot of trash. Um, here we go. Everything will be sold on the normal selling platforms. And first item, a toaster. Got our home goods, we got our kitchenware, we got our toaster, Elite Cuisine Toaster, four slice capacity. It's a good seller right there. It's a good item to start with, you know? I paid 110 bucks for all five boxes right there. That's a good 15, 20 bucks, just right there. You know, that's a good, probably close to 20% of what I paid. Then next, loose packaging. Oh, that's that's still all that's still all factory package though. It's just not tight packaging. We've got a vat groom for dogs and cats. It's just a yeah for dogs and cats. Easy to clean grooming tool. Pretty decent. A little bit of money right there. Then we have. Graston Technique. It's still in the factory bag. Is it sealed? Yeah, it's still factory sealed bag. Has not been opened up yet, so I don't want to open it up and break the seal. But I'm not too sure what this is. But it's called Graston G R A S T O N Technique. Graston roll up something instrument set they've kind of they have it covered up so i have to do a little bit of research on this see if i can find out how much this thing sells for because i really don't know brand new though oh cool yeah so far this has turned into a hodgepodge brand new this is what i mean by amazon warehouse damage it's brand new it is still factory sealed brand new but it got package damaged in, in the warehouse 
So Amazon, they, they just liquidate it because they won't sell this to a customer once it's been package damaged. But a person like me, pop out the package, I'll put a small little piece of tape here and uh, yeah, I'll sell it locally. Uh, however much damper it sells for now, I'm not even too sure how much damper it sells for. This barcode is actually not covered up, so I can look easily or quickly how much this sells for because they did not cover up the barcode with their LPN labels. Didn't pull it up, of course it didn't, but yeah. I'll research it. Brand new damper -ed. Incandescent lamps. Oh, so it is uh, six, six light bulbs. Just 150 watt light bulbs, six of them. Uh, yeah, box of six light bulbs. As long as they're not broken. Yogi Pace. Yeah, sometimes with Hot Podge, you gotta be careful what you put your hands into because uh, sometimes it can be used underwear. Sometimes it can be uh, bedroom toys used. You've seen it on this channel before. Oh, these are yoga pants. The tags aren't attached to it, so it's just a pair of yoga pants. Size medium, yoga pants. I hate selling clothes. I don't I do not like selling clothes whatsoever. The return rate on clothes is around 40%. Like that's that's the nationwide return rate on clothes. Clothes are just mm, I I I won't sell clothes. A lot of those I find other ways to get rid of them. But and I and I won't sell them. But I get rid of them. Okay, these things are covered with pet hair. No. Covered in pet hair. Next. Mighty Pan. Smart dog potty training doorbell. It's been opened up, so I don't even know what this is. I've never seen this. Smart Bell Potty training doorbell, are you serious? Okay. I, 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 I'm curious now. Barcode's not covered up, I'm gonna look it up real quick. I am curious. So this sells new for $37.99. Obviously it's open package item. Let's see what it look like. Oh, it hasn't been installed yet. There's all like the uh, in installation mounting kit. Hasn't been installed. But uh, if it sells new for 38 and it's just open package item, I'll probably a good 25, 30 bucks for doggy training doorbell? Potty training doorbell for a dog? Okay. I didn't know those existed. Coffee pot. One cup. Oh, we got some uh, off-brand vacuum bags. Oh, we got the, the Leap Leapfrog Doodler pen, and it's it's very very heavily used. Last item, first box, smart smart plug. And not bad. So that's the first box, and there's a very good chance after the first box, I've already got most of my money back. There's there's probably a good chance I'm close to getting my money back. So. I'll be back with the next box. Next one. We uh, looks interesting. Okay. First item. Race RS Sport Lighting LED Headlamp Conversion Kit. I have no idea the value of that thing. Looks like it's still factory. Yeah, still that's still the factory tape on it. Never been opened up. Amazon warehouse deals on it, but it's never been opened up though. So it's customer returned, and uh, they just liquidated it. I have to research that. Next, 
commercial downlight. Hmm. Yeah. None special. There's a picture of it. Then we have a lampshade. That looks to be brand new. I don't see any damage on it either. Sometimes I get lampshades in, and they're damaged, crunched, cut. This has no damage on it. This thing is completely brand new. Has the barcode on it. So I'm gonna have to do a little research on it, figure out how much it sells for, but looks to be a shade of, is it black? Yeah, it looks like it's black. Yeah, I am sure. Next. Oh, this is a cake stand. Put it on there, spin your cake around. It's used. There's like little cake particles that fell off of it. That's gross. Kind of really gross. Next. Oh, here's a. Okay, so that is for baseball. That is a uh, like a like a face a face guard for baseball helmet. I've never sold any of that. I've sold you know like football or like, you know like face masks like football helmets. Like replacement ones. I've never sold a replacement one for a baseball helmet though. Ribbon. Brand new. This package is all cut up. Well, the box is empty too, so. I totally missed the trash can. Next. We have a jacket, looks like. Ooh, whenever I get clothes or jackets that are wrapped up this tightly, I don't like really touching it without gloves on. Because sometimes people return some pretty nasty used clothes. I mean, I'm talking like they're out in like, you know, like the pig pen for a while. This is a Dickies. The zipper on it, it shows a lot of use. So this looks like some kind of a Dickies. It's probably overalls, I bet. I'm gonna leave this thing sealed for now. And I'll have to open that thing up later in more of a safer, more sanitary environment. Not here in my office. Ooh, Bluetooth speaker. I guess here's the first audio. Brand is, I don't even see a brand on here. There is no brand on it. It needs charges completely dead. Model number is T8 Pro. That's the model, but there's no brand on it. So I don't even know how much it even sells for. I don't even know what the brand is. I'm going to research that. Model is T8 Pro. Okay. And we've got my multi-purpose sensor. This box is just, this whole palace has been so freaking random. Looks to be new condition too. Yeah, this this is just a straight just hodgepodge palette. A little bit of everything. No rhyme, no reason, just everything in this palette. These are some of the most fun palettes though. And last thing in this box. Oh, it is heavily used. I mean, it is heavily used. It looks to be, yeah, it's a uh, little plastic, like, footstool, like a step stool thing. But it is heavily used. So, let me uh, box this up. I'll be back with the third box. Next box. The second box wasn't the best box. First one was better than the second box. Wait for that big home run item still. Sometimes, they usually have at least like one item that's decent, usually. But sometimes Hodge, hodgepodge pallets don't have that big home run item. Sometimes they just have a whole bunch of like $20 items that start adding up really quick. Oh, we got a sleep mask. 40 blinks to sleep mask. V, man, this is so random. VTech uh, accessory. For your phone, for your home phone. 
That's decent right there. Actually, that's probably about 30 bucks. Decent right there. So this is more of the kind of audio since it goes in your ear and it's more audio, I guess. For uh, general merchandise and audio. Quantity of one. A lotion dispenser. Kind of leaking out a little bit. We'll just we'll just set that aside. Next, sure. Whatever that says. Invalid serial number, not for sale. Well, that's not good. So it's invalid serial number. So let's go ahead. Let's just let's just liquidate it then. Oh, it's just a car mount for your cell phone. Those are cheap. Those are a dime a dozen. Here we go. Those vintage nostalgia toasters. Or oh, it's a hot dog. Hot dog toaster thing. Those are so gimmicky. So gimmicky. Oh, that that's a toilet seat in there. I'm not touching that. So, or there's two in there. Oh, oh no, no, I'm not touching those. So in here, there's two toilet seats. See it here, and then right here. You can see it, right? Yeah. They're wrapped up, they're poly bagged, but I don't touch toiletries, especially return to toilet seats. I don't think so. I'm not touching that. Nope, nope, nope. So here we got a cereal container. Good grips. A lot of times these things are cracked. But this one is not cracked. It's still, this thing's good to go. I think it's brand new. That's nice. Good grips. Let's see. Oh, some pet odor. Bissell detergent. I'd say it's about three quarters full. It's kind of used. Another sleep mask. Um, tight vac. Fresher for longer. Push button in. Makes it tight. What we got here? Oh, this is like oh, it's a it's a cordless vacuum. Yeah, this works really well on, on hardwood floors, but obviously don't use it on carpet. It won't work. Um, that's nasty. Toilet seats. We have a Moab map. Trail Illustrated. A, a, two maps of Utah. Whirlpool dryer heater. Man, this is this is hodgepodgey. This is everything in this thing. Whirlpool dryer heater. Okay. Yeah, let's just go from uh, a Utah road map to uh, a dryer heater. Last thing in this box. Well, that's nice right there. Hot or cold stainless steel mug. The brand is Zo Jerushi. Try to say that like 14 times really fast. Zo Jerushi. One touch open. That's nice. Original box. So, yeah, let me. Uh, mm, two toilet seats. That's nasty. Mm, no. Mm -mm. I'll be right back with the fourth box. Fourth one. Wait for some cool audio. Let me just double check. Let me just double check my invoice again. Let's see. Yeah, palette. General merchandise dash audio. That's what it says. It says a total of 68 items. It's got a variance of 4%. So. Yeah, it's between 60 and 70 items in that range. It, it can vary, so. General merchandise slash audio. Kinda, kinda curious. Uh, but there's been that one Bluetooth speaker that had no brand on it. That VTech earpiece. I think it's been on the audio so far, I think, right? Unless I've missed something. I didn't realize it. I guess that's what it meant by audio? That's almost, there better be at least something else in here. Maybe it's decent value. If not, man, that's kind of... I wish mean, this is false advertising. The reason why I bought this liquidation is because of... It was... 
literally, it was kind of clickbait, you know? General merchandise dash audio. I mean, that's that's very clickbaity. You know, that's pure clickbait for a liquidator to put like little audio in there. Clickbait, but 100 bucks, 110 bucks. I said, okay, let me try it. And this thing's a big scale right here. Extra large scale goes to 300 and what, 50 pounds? Cool. Analog precision. Heavy duty, it's got weight to it. Looks like a nice scale. That could be probably 20, 30 bucks right there. Okay, this box doesn't have a whole lot in it. It has lots of big item stuff in this one box. Multi-tier pet fountain. Wonder if my cat would like this. Oh, it's still factory sealed too. It's just, oh, this is a uh, Amazon warehouse damaged item. Somebody put some weight on top of this and crunched the top lid down, if you see here. So it has the factory seal here, factory seal there, factory seal there. Bottom has not been opened up yet. So this is still factory sealed. It's just somebody at the warehouse put weight on top of it and crunched it, so they liquidated it. Cool. Brand new. Multi-tier pet found. Can't beat that. Brand new item. A little bit of box damage. That's it. Here's some jars. Some plastic jars. I guess if you need a little jar to make something in, boom, I got you. Oh, here's some more damp red. Another brand new one. Still factory sealed. Just a little bit of warehouse damage. That's all that's all that's wrong with this. It got damaged in the Amazon warehouse, so they liquidated it. 100 percent brand new, factory sealed. Has not been sold to anybody. No LPN label on it, so this has never left Amazon's hands. Straight liquidation. So that's two of the damp rids. Brand new. Vacuum attachments. Let's see. Clinicalguard.com. Oximeter. Measures your pulse rate. It's like half out of the package, it looks like. So you just wear this and it measures your pulse rate. So it's out of the package. Looks like it's an off brand. Looks like it's just like a third party seller item. Little, little, little some play. Kind of cheapy, I bet. Not too expensive. Intermatic. In wall timer. Yeah, that's a customer return there. Box kind of, kind of a little bit beat up, a little bit taped up. And we got a brush. Yeah, a natural. This is, this is a natural bore brush. Is it used? It's always nasty. Oh yeah, yeah. This. Oh yeah. This. This is heavily used. There's all kinds of hair and dandruff up in this brush. Did I move my trash can? Because usually it's straight back. Oh, and I kicked my light. There. Usually it's straight back to my trash can. I've missed it twice now. I must have moved it. But, uh, yeah. Next. Oh, I've got this before. Flower fountain. Yeah, this is for pets. A flower fountain. Just another, like, a pet feeder thing. Water, water feeder thing. And last thing, this looks like puppy pads. Yeah. Box of 100 pet training and puppy pads. Yeah, these things sell very, very fast. But they don't, like on Amazon, these sell like 15, 15 bucks, 18 bucks. But locally, whenever I sell these things, I usually sell them for about half price, a little bit more, usually like eight bucks a box. And sell them, sell them that way locally. Because that box weighs a lot. And Amazon sells theirs. I think theirs is like $15 or $18 shipped. That could be the 75 pack though. I don't remember. But um, yeah. Anyway, got one box left. That's through the first four. Let's get the last one. Maybe the last one will just be like a home run. Number five. So, let me know below your thoughts on this comment down below 
for the first four boxes, what's your views? What's your thoughts? Keep in mind, I only paid 110 bucks for this palette. I didn't pay much. Do you think my liquidator kind of clickbaited whenever uh, they said audio? I think they clickbaited me. I think they did. I think I got clickbaited. I don't see any audio in this. Whenever I think of audio, I'm not seeing audio. But oh well, I got it. I got it cheap. Shrub jacket. <laughs> Put us around your shrubs. I've never seen this before in a palette. Shrub jacket. And here we've got an NFL T-shirt. What is it? Oh, it looks like this. This uh, Washington Redskins. Brand new with tags. It is a size extra large. So I'm guessing this probably must be a child size extra large. I'm guessing, or maybe that's like a, maybe that's a female size extra large. But it's nice quality. It's a majestic brand, fan fashion, size extra large, 90% polyester, 10% spandex, tags attached to it. I don't see any cuts. It sometimes clothes can get cut by box cutters. That's why they liquidate them. But yeah, this thing looks brand new still. Yeah, that's probably good 15, 20 bucks. That's nice. The Washington Redskins. Then we've got a long lasting flapper for your toilet. <laughs> Awesome. What is this? Here we've got some um, fake flowers with a solar powered and there's little lights in the flower so that the flowers will light up. Wow, really? Okay, that's cool. The next, Cyborg Lanterns. Brand is Blitzu, Cyborg Lanterns. Two in the package. I've never seen these. Magnetic bases. Easy to use. Indoor, outdoor. Long battery life. Rubber leg tips. Literally, it's rubber leg tips. Oh, keep that in the package just in case. That looks like a used towel. A pretty used towel. Keep that in there. Here is an electric kettle. Those are nice. Those I sell for like eight, ten bucks. They sell pretty quickly. People like buying those. There's some sparkly tape. That tape is all deformed though. It got it got crunched during a uh, storage. But I'll keep it. I can use that tape. It's sparkly. Then a switch nightlight. Radiant brand. Looks like it's uh, brand new, just the packaging is a little bit damaged on it. There's the, you can still install it. The screw is there. That's nice. Then just, just a, oh, this goes into the bathtub so that you can put your bathtub toys in it. That's cool. Neck, oh, here we go. Indoor, outdoor speaker system. I think I found why they call this an audio palette. It says suggested retail price $249 for the pair. Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. Manufactured unilateral pricing policy strictly enforced. No company actually puts that on their packaging. Acoustic Audio Direct. Nah, I'm guessing this is probably more like 25 bucks a speaker, probably 50 bucks for the pair. Indoor, outdoor, two-way speakers, yeah. I think I think this is what the liquidator meant when he called it an audio palette. This is it. This is the audio item. This is it. So for use, outdoor speakers, home audio speakers, boat speakers. I don't have a boat though. Maybe I should buy a boat to go with the speakers. Surround sound speakers, car speakers, home theater speakers, truck speakers, studio monitor speakers, marine speakers, PA speakers, bookshelf stereo speakers. I doubt they're that great for some so much uh, multiple use, but yeah. These are probably, honestly, I, I've, I've sold so many speakers, but the size of these things, the wattage, honestly, it's probably like 50 bucks.
But if I'm wrong, I will update below. But I bet you it's probably about 50 bucks. Not much more than that. But it's not me. At least there's there's audio. Little container. Could be worse. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Oh, this thing is all taken apart. So we have a uh, solar powered uh, light. It goes on your house, but it's it's uh, it's taken apart. It's probably not going to work. Insect repellent. Premium treats eight garments. Odorless trigger spray. Good stuff right there. Yeah, it's pretty full still. Then we've got an entire was it 10 pack of 13 watt watt like specialty bulbs yeah that's like a specialty item try to sell it got some more clothes of course we got more clothes hate selling clothes this is a gildan youth size uh, small t-shirt Let's just open it up, why not? It doesn't look used. Still has the tags attached to it. Actually, there's two in here. Oh, it's like a two-pack long sleeve t-shirt. Gildan. Okay. It's, it's by, actually, it's probably originally a three-pack, but there's only two got returned. And uh, here's the last item. We got a coffee pot. 12 cup coffee pot. Brand is Mixpresso. Never heard of that brand. <laughs> Never heard of it. So that's what we got. That is the five box general merchandise and audio palette. Yeah, that's what they meant. But yeah, I'll, I mean, I got this palette cheap enough. I'll be able to make money on it. No, no matter what, it won't. It won't be huge profit. Like this is it, this is not going to be like a thousand dollar palette for me. Uh, the retail on this was like close to sixteen hundred. I won't get anywhere near sixteen hundred. I'll be lucky. Lucky to get half of that. I'm thinking it's probably more like 600, maybe as high as six. That could be high though, but man, it's still going to be profitable. I'm still going to make money, and I, and I got I bought this pallet cheap, and I was curious of what the audio part was. So, but this is the liquidation game. Sometimes uh, you you get these pallets cheap, like a hundred dollar cheap, and it's worth the gamble because this is a lot of product right here. This is a lot of product. Even if I sell these things for like on an average of like let's say three bucks a piece ish, I'm still making double my money back. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of these things, you know, I can sell for about five bucks. You know what I'm saying? Or fifty bucks. So yeah, it's, it's still crazy profitable. But yeah, this is what I do. I'm a full time pallet flipper. This is what I do for a living. Is I buy pallets and I flip them. I buy between three and five every single week, and uh, that's what I do. So, yeah, and anybody can get into this business. Anybody can do this. That's the cool part of pallet flipping. Anybody can do this. All you need is drive, determination, and a little bit of a business mindset in order to make money. So it's too easy, right? So I'll see you next time. I've got videos coming up every day this week, sometimes twice a day. So be on the lookout for that. If you see one video, there might be one more video coming up right after that within a couple hours. So don't miss out. I'll see you next time. I'm out. Perfect.